Do you know what this is? This is two terabytes of data. Count them. Two terabytes of interviews with some of the most badass developers on the planet. Most of which is not published on YouTube. Yet. Why, you ask? Well, for the most part, it's because most YouTubers can't handle videos longer than three minutes long! But for you future Zuckerbergs out there, we have something a little more in-depth. It's called How to Become Zuck, the video book series. Now, for the ones out there who've been commenting, sharing, and giving me lots of encouragement and criticism when I need it, thank you. This is for you. What do you want to be when you grow up? Welcome to How to Become TV, my name is Jace, and this, my friends, is where wannabe coders become pro. So, it's kind of a special day because this is just for my tiny audience of subscribers. I'm totally okay with a tiny audience. <sighs> it's okay, Dad. I will watch your videos. So what is How to Become Zuck? How to Become Zuck is made up of three books in a video format. Number one, A Day in the Life of a Software Engineer. Number two, Rise of the Hacker Schools, or How to Become a Developer Without a Degree. And finally, number three, Getting Hired, Job Interview Prep, Job Search. But first, A Day in the Life of a Software Engineer. Below you can see the outline, more detailed outline of the book. But in one sentence, I can summarize it for you. At the end of part one, A Day in the Life, you will be able to answer one all-important question. Can I be good at this job? And can I be happy being good at this job? Now, to deliver on that, we have a bevy of content from some of the best developers from Facebook and Google to small startups in the Bay Area to more traditional government and corporate jobs. You need to know what you're getting yourself into before you make the commitment to any career. Now, if you go to howtobecomezuck.com, sign up for the pre-release copy, you'll receive a copy before anyone else and a 50% discount off the purchase price. It will be published February 1st. I said it, I will deliver on that time. I wanted to end with words from Jose Zaleja. Jose is an interviewee we had from earlier this year. You may have sent an interview from him. This is an extended clip from that interview where he speaks about following your calling. And he says it in a way that, he says it better than I could. And he inspired how to become Zuck. When I was a kid, I was terrible in school. I, 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 I you know, I, I really didn't know what I wanted to do and whatever. I was just, I was just a kid having fun. I spent way too much time watching TV, way too much time playing video games. Uh, the thing that I, that I, that I regret most about life is not knowing what it is that I wanted to do, and not knowing what it is that I love to do until so late in life, and it was almost accidental. I really wish, when I was a kid, uh, I had been encouraged to, to pursue my interests and my dreams and whatnot. I do think that school. It should be about trying to figure out what it is that you love to do. It is, it's not just about what you like to do, but it's about l loving what you do. If you do not love what you do, you're, you're not there yet. <laughs> and after a lot of failure in my career and to now having a certain amount of success, I truly understand what it means when, when people say, the more you put in, the more you get out. And so I truly do believe that, that you have to spend time figuring out what it is that works for you and what doesn't. This is howtobecome.tv.